Hi all, I'm Mona, and this is About Face with Mona. Let's get to it. Today I am doing a collaboration with the wonderful, beautiful Lisa Monique Beauty. We're doing a collaboration on three luxe beauty products that work and are worth your money and three luxe beauty products that are not worth the spend. So after you watch my video, I have a link below to Lisa Monique Beauty's channel and I'll also have it pinned in the comments. So make sure you hop over there to see what her choices are. Know that this is our personal decisions and our personal preferences. If your opinions differ than ours, that is fine. Keep using what you're using. We are just working really hard to be able to tell you what is worth your dollars and what's not. First, let's talk about the fails. What I would not spend my hard-earned dollars on. Product number one is Strivectin's Advanced Tightening Neck Cream. Now this is a sample I have used, this is the one I used to travel, I have used the full one. So the claim is, it has that Naya 114 complex, that it is an advanced tightening neck cream that allows skin to be visibly tighter, smoother, and more supple with continued use. Well, I've been through the full tube or pan of this, which was $95. And I can tell you that I noticed nothing except a moisturization, maybe some feeling of tightness, but no more than I would get from Retin-A or a, a moisturizer. So the active ingredient that it claims will do this is that Nia 114 complex. And it doesn't go into what is in that patented technology. However, the other ingredients in this product are water, which you can get for a lot cheaper than $95, <laughs> shea butter. Also, you can get that in my honey skin. It is a product that I swear by for moisturizing and giving you that shea butter and that suppleness and that manuka honey. It's got butylene glycol, and it's also got satiral alcohol in it, which is something that can be very drying. And it's an ingredient that I personally avoid unless it's way low down in the, in, in the ingredients list and you know maybe used as some kind of preservative. So, you know, it's, it's ju just a cream. Will I, I finish this travel one? Will I keep this in my bag um, for traveling and finish using it? I will, but will I repurchase it? No because for $95, I just did not see the claims. I can use um, Nevea cream, I can use the Honey Skin, I can use Rosehip Oil, things that I get for a lot cheaper that I feel like actually do something my Tretinoin or Retin-A cream, you know, which is gonna provide the same benefits. The second product that I think that is not worth your money is Chanel Sublimage La Creme Europe, which is an eye cream. It is $240 for a half an ounce. $240 for 0 0.5 ounces. Its claims are that it is rich velvety cream Okay, I would say it is a rich velvety cream. It provides complete anti-aging care for delicate eye. No. Has anything miraculous happened to these eyes? No. No. I would be better off saving my money for $240. I could go get Botox and I could completely eliminate this. For a little bit more, since you really have to repurchase this once a month, if I waited a couple of months, I could save up enough to go get Botox and completely eliminate this and to completely get fillers to completely eliminate these lines underneath my eyes. 
and that will last six months to a year and it will actually work. So would I spend my money on this again? Absolutely not. It says that it causes your delicate eye area to look 24% firmer. How do you measure that? <laughs> and 48% more radiant. Well, I don't need to pay $240 to look radiant. I have some drugstore products that can help me look radiant. You just need to moisturize underneath your eyes to look radiant. And decrease wrinkles by 18%. So for a, I'm not going to pay $240 to decrease wrinkles by 18% that I couldn't even see. I'll just go get me some Botox and do it 100% and have that last three or four months. And if you use Dysport or Zeal Norman or whatever the other one is, it's even cheaper. Other thing that I would not recommend is the Huda Beauty's Mercury Retrograde Palette. And if you guys noticed, I did not review this even for you guys. It's very pretty. The packaging is beautiful. I had really fell in love with the Carly Bible Palette and those pastel colors that I never had worn before because normally I go to neutrals and warms and I'm still loving that palette. So when this one came out, I really wanted it because it was similar colors, but not exactly the same, right? This color right here, I thought was so pretty and it was different and not in the other palette. But on, I don't know, it didn't give me the same look. Do I hate the palette? No, but the Carly Bible palette gives you the same kind of look for $49. This was $67, 18 pan palette. And not all of the colors are really good. There were a couple of patchy ones in here. And these that look so pigmented they're really like toppers. I mean, they are pretty, but I don't think they're $67 pretty. I just think that I can get kind of the same vibe with palettes that are less expensive. And that, of course, it's an opinion. I will use this palette. I don't hate it. I don't hate the colors. I don't think the quality of the pigments are the same as that $49 range where you're looking at Urban Decay, where you're looking at Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I think that it's not on par with those. That's sort of my range. And then I will, I would also not recommend my Natasha Denona palette for 125. I don't that there's anything wrong with that palette either, but I don't think that you have to spend $125 on eye pigments. I just don't. I think that I can get, you know, pretty looks with much more affordable palettes. Let's talk about what I would spend high dollars on. I would spend my high dollars on is a silk pillowcase. And I know we're talking about Lux Beauty items. This is a beauty item. I brought my own pillow in here. <laughs> so this is a king size and I actually have a queen size pillow in it. So you can see that I have some extra extending. What I like about this brand is it zips too. So even if your pillow slides, it's going to stay on. It's not going to come off of your pillow. This is by Blissey. And it is 100% pure mulberry silk. I like this brand. I think that I paid $110 for this. But you can go to the Blissey site and you can get it actually right now for $79. So why spend so much on a pillowcase? Because these pillowcases truly do what the claims say they do. So if you're looking for these claims, you can feel sure that you're getting what you paid for. They are 100% pure mulberry silk. These are 22 Mame weight silk, which in my research has been a good weight of silk. 
Also, they are hypoallergenic. They are completely natural. They are antibacterial. They do not allow dust mites to live in them. Like your regular pillowcases are full, and your sheets, if you're not using soap sheets, are full of dust mites. These are anti-aging. I can buy all these creams, lotions, potions that cost a bunch of money and don't do what they say they do. Or I could spend something like this that actually does. This improves split ends and damage to hair because it's decreasing the friction across the pillow. Hairdressers recommend soap pillows for the health of your hair. It also is effective at anti-aging because it reduces friction against the pillow and it's not causing texture and it helps you by not having all those mites and all that dirt build up. It is helping you keep your skin smooth sleeping on those. So it's not reducing what you already have, but is more of a prevention. It also keeps your skin cool. I don't know if you um, are a woman like me, you tend to get night sweats, or even if you're a guy, you can get hot at night. A lot of times we'll flip our pillow. These tend to stay cooler. So I would definitely recommend spending your money on a silk pillowcase. The other high-end luxe item that I think is worth your money and we'll tend to always think that skincare that is effective and has the right active ingredients is always worth a makeup color unless you really like it. Now some of these things you're paying for the experience like a cleanser. There's a cleanser, there's cleansing bombs that I see for $99, $89 that you are using up you know within two or three months at a time and they have no active ingredients in them and you're just washing them right off your face. So unless you're looking for the experience, no, I don't think those are worth your money when you can get, you know, a cleanser for $15 or for $7 or $5 that's, you know, effective at removing dirt. The other thing is TNS. This can go up to 200 and something dollars for this container but it is $169 on overstock.com. This has growth factor, antioxidants, peptides, and other anti-aging ingredients all in one. It's a dual chamber. Mine is a little gunky, it's much used. It also lightens your skin tone and brightens it. It reduces age spots. It smooths texture. It increases cell renewal and cell turnover, and it decreases fine lines and wrinkles, and it contains your peptides. So you can use this in place of your lighteners, in place of your other antioxidants. Maybe you use the Trixel 6 Synth by Timeless, or you use one of the ordinary products, but you're using a bunch of different things. Peptide creams are always expensive if they are the right molecular weight peptides that they think can actually penetrate through the top layer of your skin into the dermis, stimulate collagen and elastin production. And this also has growth factor. You break it up by the products, by price, by the products that you don't have to use. It's not as expensive as it seems for one product that does a lot of things. The caveat would, would, to this would be if your doctor does not recommend growth serum. If you have had bad skin cancer on your face, the doctor, your doctor will not recommend that because it's increasing cell turnover. It can also increase cell turnover of cancer cells and cause those skin cancers to grow more rapidly. I would ask your primary care doctor or your dermatologist how they feel about you using it. But if they are okay with it, I am highly recommending this product. If you cannot use a growth factor, then I would recommend, which I've showed you guys before, the Peter Thomas Roth Lift and Firm um, 21 Peptide Cream. It is $78, but it was twice the milliliters of the Proteiny Polypeptide by Drunk Elephant and it had more peptides and was more moisturizing and was actually occlusive so that it would hold that in. I would definitely recommend that as well. Throwing in a couple of bonuses here because the other 
pricey thing that I would recommend, the number one pricey thing is Retin-A. If you don't want to go to a site like Reliable or Rack, so you can't get Curology where you're, you are, and you have to spend full price on a tretinoin cream, like this Obagi tretinoin cream, it can run you, depending on what pharmacy you use and the prices of that pharmacy, anywhere from $5 to, I've seen it as high as $270. There is nothing that research has proven more to be anti-aging than that. So I would always, always have a Retin-A product in my line. The other thing that I think is a little bit on the luck side because of how fast I go through it is the Olaplex Bond Maintenance Shampoo System. I had been in a couple of videos where you guys commented on the way my hair looked. It was very smooth up and you can see that it is a little frizzy and looks dry again, kind of in this, this um, video. That is because I am out of my Olaplex and my Olaplex treatment at my salon has worn off. I am getting ready to repurchase. The price per item is not that expensive. However, for a shampoo, $28 for 3.3 ounces, I do think is expensive because recommending the whole bond maintenance system. So it's $28 for 3.3 ounces of the number four bond maintenance shampoo, $28 for 3.3 ounces of the number five bond maintenance conditioner, $28 for 3.3 ounces of the number six bond smoother, which is a treatment, and then it is, I think it's $28 for one ounce of the number seven bonding oil. If you buy all of those on a regular basis, that's a little over $100. And you're probably going to go through it every month and a half. It is more concentrated and you do use less to get the effect that you want. So if you're careful with it, you can stretch it. But if you're used to putting a lot of shampoo and conditioner in your hands at first, you're probably going to waste some of the product. Once you get used to using the more concentrated version, you'll use less. And it might be able to last you two or three months, but you're probably talking two months at the most. So $100, $50 a month for shampoo uh, for most people is a lot. But I think that it truly transforms my hair because it's one of the few lines that actually relinks broken bonds of your hair. It is not just treating it or covering it. It is actually doing repair. It is not just a mask. It is a treatment. So yes, I would highly, highly recommend that. Wanted to talk about the Current Body Skin LED Light Therapy Mask. This is something that I've been looking into for a while, <coughs> but I've just started using. So I cannot give you a full review of whether it is worth your money or not yet. This mask is flexible. It goes on with a Velcro strap. Has this little chargeable adapter you just press the button it's very simple to use you just press the button the lights come on and automatically go off in 10 minutes i want to get the one for my neck as well this is currently 364 dollars at us.currentbody.com and i will link that below it is an anti-aging red and near infrared light therapy that has research behind it and estheticians that promote it and dermatologists that promote it as an effective worth your money product that improves fine lines and wrinkles and skin tone and texture by 35 percent in four weeks so i have been using it only a couple of times and i i definitely feel a difference it's supposed to be able to increase the efficacy of your retin-a also and I'll give you more information on that as I use it. But I, I think that tools and treatments with active ingredients 
are always going to be the most bang for your buck when it comes to beauty and aging. And that I would tend to spend less on things like cleansers and moisturizers with heavy cleans of doing dramatic things to your skin because topically there is only so much that you can do even with those treatments that are proven to improve the appearance of your skin. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some benefit out of it. If you'd like to see more like this, I have a whole other list of products that I could put in a video like this that I was just trying to narrow it down for the sake of time. Don't forget to stop by Lisa Monique Beauty and see what she has and subscribe to her channel as well. Give it a thumbs up. Also leave a comment so that she knows that you dropped by and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.